Top 5 Best Refractor Telescopes Number 5. Celestron Omni XLT-120 The Celestron Omni XLT-120 is the largest refractor on our list, and while a 120mm telescope sounds small, with a refractor it's anything but. The XLT-120's optical tube is a chunky 13 pounds and it's about 1 meter long. This scope is pushing the limits of the included CG4 mount somewhat, but works well. With a focal ratio of f8.33, there is a moderate amount of chromatic aberration but it's not a showstopper for planetary and lunar viewing altogether. It has a 2 inches focuser, so you can add a 2 inches diagonal and eyepieces on for the widest possible low power field of view. The included CG4 mount is high quality and made solidly of aluminum and steel, with two counterweights needed to balance the massive 120mm optical tube. You can easily install a motor drive for push-button fine-tuning of the mount's positioning along with hands-free tracking, or make do with the included slow-motion cables. The Omni XLT120 includes a high-quality one. 25 inches prism star diagonal giving an upright but left-right inverted view. There's also an adequate if perhaps small 6x30 finder scope included, and a single 25mm LET eyepiece which seems to be a variant of a plossel. This eyepiece is sharp and has a lot of eye relief, but some people find it uncomfortable to use. Regardless, you'll want to shop for at least a few additional eyepieces for this telescope to get the most it has to offer. Coming in number 4. Skywatcher Star Travel 102 AZ GTE. Like the Star Travel 80, the Star Travel 102 AZ GTE features a mount that can be used manually when powered off and functions as an advanced go-to system controlled by your smartphone or tablet when powered on. Its 102mm f5 optics will have a ton of chromatic aberration, and thus it's really more of a low-power, deep-sky instrument. You'll have great views of open star clusters, nebulae, and the brightest galaxies, but pump the magnification up and you'll probably be disappointed. The Star Travel 102 AZ GT includes a 1.25 inches star diagonal, a red dot finder, and, of course, Kellner eyepieces, 25mm and 10mm providing 20 times and 50 times, respectively. You can probably push the scope up to 80 times before the image starts to degrade, and as low as 16 times before the exit pupil is too large to be useful. As with all of the Star Travel scopes, the optical tube and mount use Vixen style dovetail plates and can be interchanged easily. Coming in number 3. Celestron 90mm Astrophy Refractor Telescope. The Astrophy 90 is another one of Celestron's smartphone-focused telescopes. It uses your phone as a replacement for the outdated, clunky calculator like hand controllers that many go-to telescopes are still supplied with. After a simple alignment process that is explained on your phone, you can aim the telescope at any target you want with the push of a button, and the SkyPortal app will display information about the object too. More advanced users can switch to running the telescope with Sky Safari, which provides more information, more targets, and more display options. The telescope itself is a fairly standard 90mm f10 refractor, at this focal ratio, there's some chromatic aberration, but not enough to be a nuisance. The included star diagonal is a high-quality prism unit, and the included 25mm and 10mm Kellner eyepieces are pretty good to get you started, though you may want another eyepiece or two. Coming in number 2. Celestron StarSense Explorer DX. The StarSense Explorer DX 102mm features the same mount as the old Omni XLT 102AZ that we used to recommend, but with the improvement of the StarSense Explorer technology. The bracket on the DX mount is a little better designed than what's provided with the LT and is a little more accurate. Aiming the scope at most of the brighter deep sky objects with your phone attached is pretty easy and straightforward. At f6.5, the DX102 does have some chromatic aberration, but it's still reduced enough to give decent planetary and lunar views without being total mush though the purple halos around bright objects are admittedly an eyesore. While the focuser on the StarSense Explorer DX102 is technically a 2 inches, the included mount is not exactly up to the task of handling heavy 2 inches eyepieces and a beefy diagonal. As for the diagonal included with the scope, it's a 1.25 inches erecting prism design, not the best, but usable. You might want to swap it out for a regular mirror or prism diagonal at some point. 
The DX102 comes with a set of two 1.25 inches Kellner eyepieces, 25 mm and 10 mm, providing 26 times and 65 times, respectively. You'll almost certainly want to purchase additional eyepieces to get the most the DX102 can offer. A red dot finder is also included for aiming the telescope. Coming in number 1. Celestron StarSense Explorer LT-80AZ The StarSense Explorer LT-80AZ is a fairly standard 80mm f11 refractor, mounted on a pretty poorly constructed alt-azimuth fork mount. However, it's unique in that it includes Celestron's StarSense Explorer technology. The StarSense Explorer uses a special mounting adapter and your smartphone camera to aim the telescope at targets without any additional hardware, alignment, or power and will put targets within the field of view at low power. Its accuracy is limited by the gyroscope and other hardware in your phone, but it's better than nothing and quite impressive considering how it actually manages to work. In addition to its StarSense mounting bracket, a red dot finder, and a 1.25 inches prism star diagonal, the LT-80AZ also includes two eyepieces 25mm and 10mm Kellners providing 36x and 90x, respectively, along with a 2x Barlow lens to get 72x and 180x with the included eyepieces. These are probably all you need, so there's no sense in shopping for additional accessories for this telescope. Given its long focal length and small aperture, we question the purpose of the StarSense Explorer tech on this telescope. However, it is nonetheless a pretty good deal for the price, with or without it, and thus gets our recommendation.